When a fire breaks out in Clark's Harbor, like this one at a machine shop last winter, the volunteer department tries to put it out. But firefighters say their ability to fight fires these days is in jeopardy. The department is in trouble. It hasn't got enough members to run the trucks, fight a fire the way it should be fought, keep the building up, fundraise. It just isn't enough people here to do everything. The department only has 11 volunteers on board now. The men say they have enough equipment and enough work for at least 25 volunteers. Since last spring, they've been struggling to keep their numbers up. But the problem is a lack of interest. When I first joined, me and another fellow that joined at the same time, we went out and we did manage to get the membership to 15. And basically, get the, they stay for a while. They say, well, I'll lose my interest. I don't have the time. Then they leave. Besides firefighting, volunteers must spend time maintaining equipment, keeping skills up, and organizing fundraisers to keep the department going. Here at a fisherman's hangout, townspeople say the commitment is too big. The problem is that long poles go fishing, and they're always on the water, and they have little time to spend with it. A lot of it is the fishermen, lack of interest. I think if we got back some of the old firemen and put it back together again, and I'm thinking about it personally myself. The firefighters say more volunteers could mean the difference between life and death. There can be a house fire any day, there could be kids in it, adults. It's, uh, we haven't got the right amount of men to act properly when we get there. It can come right down to maybe a child's life or something could be involved there. The fire department will take its problem to the people of Clarks Harbor two weeks from now. At a public meeting, the firefighters will try to encourage people to join up and help them in the battle to protect their own community. Kathy Robinson for CBC News, Clarks Harbor.